What's up guys, this is Lindsay with Garage Shoe Reviews. Today we're gonna to talk about the Avron Fit Bike. Now I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the Avron brand. I mean, we have reviewed a ton of their rowers. Rowers from the Avron Strong Series, the Avron Go, the Avron Impact. I mean, we have done extensive research and testing and those are honestly some of our favorite or like our most sought after rowers. And a lot of it has to do with the programming. So Avron's programming is just completely different than what you are gonna find with something like a Peloton or something like an iFit programming. And we're gonna talk about a lot of the details of this Avron Fit Bike. Now, I actually really like this bike. It's probably in my top three, but I do have a few call outs of it. And like always, I mean, this was sent to us by the company, but this is an honest and transparent review. And so obviously I'm gonna tell you the things that I kind of find annoying about it. Also, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. And despite my call outs, again, probably one of my favorite bikes. So if you do wanna purchase this, we've made it easy and place a link below the like button for you to use. Okay, so this is a more expensive bike. It's $2,399. However, for their launching price, it is currently $1,999. It also comes with a 30-day risk-free trial, so you can go ahead and get it shipped to your house if you decide this is not the bike for you. Go ahead and ship it back at no extra cost to you. Now, obviously, a $2,000 price tag is still a massive amount of money to spend on a bike, but compared to something like the Kaiser or the Peloton that are about the same cost or even a little bit more, I do feel like this is a comparable price given the features of this bike. So one thing that makes this bike different is it's freewheel design. So a lot of the times the flywheel and the pedals work in tandem to create momentum as you're riding the bike. This is a freewheel design. So essentially the flywheel is on its own and then the pedals are on its own. One benefit to that is that it's actually going to mimic what it feels like to be actually riding a road bike. And as I've compared both the Peloton particularly to this Avron Fit Bike, they feel totally different. And I've got to say, I kind of prefer the feel of this one. It feels a little bit more just like authentic to what I've experienced when I'm riding a road bike. One thing that I think is cool is that with this freewheel design, it actually allows you to coast while not losing the flywheel momentum. So it definitely feels like if you are going a downhill, you take your feet off the pedals, you're still gonna feel that like road bike feel because again, it's continuing that momentum for a while. One thing that I think is great about this is its floor space. So it's actually really suitable for small spaces. The overall floor plan of this is 3.5 feet long by only two feet wide. Now, something just to keep in mind is the screen is massive. It's a 22 inch touch screen. It's actually really well designed. It responds really well. It's easy to navigate. It has bright colors and then it has great speaker quality. But again, it just makes the overall bike feel a little bit bigger because of the massive screen. The weight on this bike is 139 pounds. It feels really easy to move around. Now the wheels do come on the front, but you do have the option to go ahead and put them on the back. So if for whatever reason, it feels more convenient for you to have the wheels on the back, you can go ahead and just switch that around. The durability on this bike is probably five out of five for me. I think this is incredibly well built as I was using it, as I was testing, and as I was going over all of our testers notes on this machine, everybody kind of spoke to the fact that it doesn't shake at all. Even when you are at a high resistance and you're going really fast and you're kind of moving the bike back and forth, the screen doesn't even shake, which I think is something we don't see a lot. A lot of times with big screens on machines, if you're going like max effort, there's something that's shaking along the way, but I actually don't think that's true with this. Now the user weight capacity on this is 350 pounds. That is pretty standard with what we see with other bikes. So around 300 to 350 allows a lot of people to be able to use this machine. The Avron Fit Bike comes with a rear flywheel design. That is something we see with kind of more high-end bikes. And there's a couple of reasons to that. One, it's just going to last a long time. And I think that that's the biggest reason people put a rear flywheel design because as you are leaning over a flywheel, if it's on the front, you're sweating, you might drip water on it. It's just going to create more rust. You're going to have more issues. You're going to have to have some maintenance along with that. Whereas a rear flywheel design, you don't have any sweating, you don't have any water, I guess, unless you like, I don't know, are sweating out of your ears or something crazy. But overall, it's just going to create a lot less issues down the road. With this bike, it comes with 160 levels of electromagnetic resistance. Now this is different than magnetic resistance, and I think that it is actually better. I like the electromagnetic resistance because it's controlled by the screen. So all you'll see is at the bottom of your screen, a resistance profile, which will go from like the lowest amount all the way up to the highest amount, which is 160. 
and you can go ahead and easily slide your finger across until you get to your desired resistance. When I moved the resistance, I didn't feel it automatically. Like it did take, you know, maybe five to 10 seconds. But then once I felt it, like it stayed consistent. The other thing about having your resistance on the screen, which I actually really liked, is that there's no knobs to fumble with. So with a lot of Studio Cycle Bikes, you kind of have a knob in between your legs. You have to take your hand off of the handlebar. Go ahead and lean down to adjust the resistance. This was super easy. Obviously, you still have to take your hand off the handlebar, but it was more just like the slide of a finger, which again, just made it so simple. With this bike, it actually features a commercial grade chain instead of a nylon belt. This is again, just contributing to its overall stability, its overall durability factor, because a commercial grade chain is going to last just a lot longer than a nylon belt, especially if there's multiple people using this bike and it's gonna get a lot of use. The entire bike is constructed of reinforced steel and it has this really nice powder coating on it. You can tell the difference from a cheap powder coating to a nice powder coating. I would put this in the nice category and I think that overall it's going to hold up really well, even if it's in a non-climate controlled environment, but also it just looks really cool. The Aberon can fit users from all the way from 5'1 up to 6 feet 8 inches. So a wide variety of people can use this. It is a little different in terms of measuring. So a lot of the times I'll walk up to a studio bike, I'll know exactly where the seat should go based on what I'm standing on it. It kind of hit that hip dip. This kind of sits up a little higher. So I wasn't able to use that measurement. I definitely had to play around with the right settings. But overall, I mean, it's really easy to change the settings. The back seat goes ahead and adjusts vertically as well as horizontally. And also the handlebars will go ahead and adjust back and forth to kind of meet wherever is comfortable with you. Now the handlebars also can be angled, but it's not just an easy knob. You kind of have to set them at the angle that you want as you are building the machine. Obviously you can change it down the road, but it's not just like this simple knob that you can go ahead and uncrank, recrank, whatever. I mean, I'm using technical terms here. When you purchase this bike, it has three different options. So with the standard purchase, it comes with cage tow box, so you can use any cross training shoe. For $100 more, you'll also receive dumbbells and an exercise mat. I think that that's kind of expensive, which is kind of my second call out. Like you're just adding on dumbbells and an exercise mat and you're gonna pay $100 more. I say go to a thrift store and buy your own dumbbells that will fit back on there because probably most dumbbells will fit on any exercise bike. Or you can go ahead and pay $350 more for their premium package. And that's gonna give you the dumbbells, the exercise mats, a couple extra things. But the big selling point to that, it's gonna come with clip-in style SPD pedals. So if you are a serious cycler, that might be something to consider. So the programming is super similar to any of their rowing programming. I mean, it features the same games. It has a ton of the same programming, a ton of the same features. The programming itself comes with over a thousand workout classes to choose from. Now, when I'm comparing something like the Peloton programming to the Avron programming, I just feel like they're totally different. It's almost like comparing oranges to apples. Although the Avron does have class-led workouts, which I actually think are really good, it also features a lot of game style workouts. I think that's appealing to people who maybe don't take cycling as serious and maybe just wanna get a really good workout that's also fun to use. Or if you have kids who wanna join in, like maybe that's more appealing. Whereas Peloton has really quality instruction, really quality classes, but doesn't have any sort of the immersive game experiences. Now there are a lot of details to the screen and what it offers you. I mean, it goes over all of your metrics. You can go ahead and measure your watts from a workout from today to seven days days ago to 10 days ago to 365 days ago, or you can go ahead and compare your workout to a partner's workout if they also have the same programming. So there are a lot of things you can do with the Averon programming. I'm pretty impressed with it, but I'm not going to go into all the details. If you are curious about the Averon programming, Averon website has a great video explanation of everything that the programming encompasses that you should definitely check out. The screen also swivels side to side and then up and down. So if you're doing some sort of class, that's like a full body workout that maybe you're doing on the bike and then you're doing some sort of dumbbell work off the bike, you can easily swivel the screen so that you can still see it during your workout. The other thing that the Avron has, I think is really appealing to a lot of people is it has apps on it. So if you have an account to like Hulu, Spotify, HBO Max, whatever it is, you can go ahead, log in and then watch it on the screen here. For the Avron membership, it's $288 if billed annually and then $29 a month if you're billing monthly. The other thing that's really great about the programming that a lot of companies still offer is unlimited user profile. So it doesn't matter how many people go ahead and sign into that account, 
on the bike, you can go ahead and have as many people on that bike as you want to have their own each individual profile. In terms of warranty, it has 10 years on the frame and then one year limited on parts. You can go ahead and purchase extra warranty if you want. But I do think 10 years on the frame is a really solid warranty plan. And people online have said that the Avron customer service is really good. I've had a few minor call outs to this. I think another minor call out that I would have is the way that you adjust the seat or the handlebars is probably not my favorite way that I've seen. And especially the seat in the back, like I have pretty tiny hands and the knob is kind of tucked between the seat and the frame. So it does make people with larger hands maybe a little more difficult to use that. But again, that's so minor and over Overall, I felt that this was a super smooth ride. I love the free wheel design on it. It actually does feel different than what I'm typically used to on an indoor studio cycle bike. So for that alone, I mean, I would rate it as one of my tops because it just felt so comfortable while I was using it. But then again, Avron's programming, I think it's great. It's just a little different than maybe something like a Peloton programming, but if you're into that, if you're into the games, if you're into all of the data, I mean, you really can't go wrong with it. And also it's cheaper than Peloton programming per month. So there's like another thumbs up from me. If you have tried this bike, if you have ordered this bike, you're waiting for it to ship, let us know in the comments below. Let us know how this feels and do you like the programming on the Avron? This has been Lindsay with Garage Your Reviews.